Oh, so, uh, I used that power cord to open that door that was locked the last episode. Check it out. If you're just pulling up this one, this is probably the part three, even though you don't got to watch them in any particular order. If you're just trying to check out some gameplay, this is the place to do it. Now, let me shoot through that wall. Aw, oh, shit. The environment is your friend on this game. That was actually going to be a semi diff. Three v three, not gonna lie. Like one mess up, and I might have been able to lose that one for real. But this is the door that we were struggling with at the end of the last episode. Not too hard of a puzzle. I just wasn't expecting it with this type of game. But this game has been... I like it. I'm enjoying it. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. You're going to ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm a fan. Another potion pot. You'll love to see that. And a, oh, a third man. Okay, here it is. The Nautis for Fallen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The magic is pulsing. I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's almost like it's breathing. blood for my new sword. You love to see it. Oh, damn. Good parry. Good parry. Big damage.
Okay, okay. Let's go. Ultimate ability. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of cool. Well, wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Oh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, VJ? Well, then. I am the Nars Dirthalon. Right, um, I have questions. We're talking to an ancient elf spirit right now. <laughs> what do you oh, how's that going? Oh, he just disappeared back into the machine, so not well, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well. so where'd he go? Where'd the spirit go? The Nadas Dirthalan, I mean? It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken until I fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. I got a magical archer with me and a mage, I think. It might be my team right Strife now, for real. Will want to know about this, and the blight, and the dark spawn. I guess the magic archer could actually heal you. Let me know when you're so ready she to could be my healer. Meanwhile, my mage could be like my far range damage. Even though the magic archer got some decent damage too. It's just a good team comp so far. Mm. And I got a new bow. It shoots regular arrows, but it's bowstring, like, glows blue when I pull it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. <coughs> Fade bolts. Okay, so she's got her abilities now. Oh, she could also do that. Nice. I might be able to swap one of them out if I get somebody else. That's pretty good. But uh, right now I'm a keeper, so I'm a booster healing. Well, make her cool down a lot shorter. And then I'm gonna boost her fade bolt. Wait, hold on. There we go. points available. Oh, I didn't do a quest line for her yet. Makes sense that Bilar is the first one. Oh, 
don't have any other ults. That's right, never mind. But I could boost my skills by one. And I can start building that way, I guess. Yep, okay, cool. Let me talk to Bilaro. Ready to go? Oh wait, hold on. Not yet, not yet. Let's look around a little more. Okay. Is there anything? Yep, chest right here. Oh, that's a bow for her. It's stronger though, yep. You're a human or elf? I'm an elf. Low-key, it's already opened up a few extra dialogue options for me that I'm, like, messing with heavy. Hmm. He said, the gods of my people are forcing me. I was like, I, he feeling us. <laughs> Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Also, now I'm conflicted. <sighs> with one of my uh, companion choices, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, a, it's like every... It's good writing across the board, bro. I'm still getting them slight medieval Games of thrones -y vibes. And some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're oh man. Bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Hmm. Bro, I'm addicted. Hmm. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. Archive's broken, won't tell us anything. But that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. Given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. Well, it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. If we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetta's crossing. What? Irland and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demeta's crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small <laughs> boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. Okay. Yo, oh, this ain't bad. Quest complete and entropy scratch. This can help Blar to save the artifact. Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. 
Oh. I can shop here now. Cool. What you hear about Demet? If you're in the market for instruments of dismemberment, just so happens I can help. Oh. Common saber. Dang. Ain't got nothing for me in here, really. And now that we've met, do your best not to die, yeah? So I'll find a stronger fit switch. Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlethan City centuries ago. Whole lot of blood ma magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. What's over here? Huh. Okay. A little shortcut. I like it. Ready to go? Oh, Harding. Damn, she was for real about coming. All right. Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. Never seen fog this thick in Demetta's crossing. <laughs> this isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's probably demons. The 
this crossing. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. She right though. I think we can get in over here. <gasps> it's blight. Even worse than in the forest. No one gets out. No exceptions. You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Oh, man. Everyone has to stay. We'll be rewarded. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Oh, man. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. The town square! We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. in Orlathan. I can't believe this happened. Look at... Is that an Aravel on the roof? The Blight must have lifted it up there. Light is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? I didn't mean to do that. people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Oh, whoa, she gone. Laura.
Jahel, he's alive. Bilara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods, the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. In the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Yo. That sounds close. you. You're the mayor of this town. The village. The people. Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. All this for gold? The villagers, the Veil Jumpers, the Blight's everywhere! Demetta's Crossing is dead because of your greed! Uh, I, I didn't know! You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices! The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die! The Blight! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? First choice, BJ. First choice. <laughs> so far. Yeah, well, I mean, it's letting a dude who. Well, I don't want to spoil, but he holds some people, and you gotta either let him get hold himself or save him. Get him out of there. 
What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? He's greedy and pathetic, but that doesn't mean he deserves to die. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it's, it's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, of course. But you should be worried about the rest of the world. Or this will be our future. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight. And corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight. All of it to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Fast travel back to the... Um, yes, I can. Cool. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgrenon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators, what about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgrenon and Gilanane use them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. Morgan. Oh, I don't know her. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. So, who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? 
As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. Not if we stop it first. Ah, oh, the confidence of youth. You shall need a good deal more of it. I suppose you have some advice? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. What you play? It is said his Alluvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Alluvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. Yeah, no human or I elf. can take a look at it. Maybe human. fix it, even. Gosh, gosh. I know Alluvian's better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Oh, Our gods. Think, uh, and they're killing an people and crow. blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone. But we can stop them together. Bellara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Alluvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, mm -hmm. and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves mm -hmm. well, and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born, or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Okay, making allies. Demetis Crossing. That's what the name of this video is going to be because. Do this, Lace. It's got to be done. All right, we're trying to find the dagger. All right, y'all, I'm going to end the video here. But if you made it to the end, I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the like button, drop a subscribe, all that. And I'll see you for the next one.